Hey everyone, I want to show you guys an example of the importance of a bubble level, okay? And when I started shooting this rifle today, this is a, a 9mm uh, AR, basically a Palmetto PX9. Um, I did not have that bubble level installed on this rifle, okay? That shows me the cant of this rifle, okay? So, uh, I started shooting the rifle, right? Uh, and the last time I was shooting it, it was center. So, I got my target here at 100 yards. And I'm basically impacting here to the left, okay? So in the past, I would be like, oh, it's it's the wind or my rifle lost zero or, or, or pulling the gun or some BS. And then I went out and I, I, got, I went to my, one of my other rifles, right? And I pulled off this bubble level and I put it on there. And I saw that, like, the cant that I had was, like, really off, okay? It was, it seemed like it was so far off that I had to actually, I got a, a, a second level, and I basically, well, I can't do it one-handed right now, but basically I did a confirmation that, that the first one was reading correctly, okay? Because you can see how they're both lined up. So I, I, when I got this, because I'm like, that one seems like, I mean, I mean, it just seems so, it seems so awkward to me, right? The way I had to hold this rifle when I was shooting, but sure enough, when I, when I followed the bubble level, right, my group shifted from here to here, and then I shot another group on clear paper, and basically I'm in the center, okay, that one, I think I forgot, because I was checking my bubble level between shots, I forgot to check on that one, and all of a sudden it like drifted all the way out there, okay, but when I was checking the bubble level, I was centered, now, I, I shoot here every day. Why would I be throwing it off so much? Well, if you look over here, the last couple of days, it snowed, okay? Uh, so I basically, I came through here with the tractor, and I, I, I plowed this down. Now, the ground to me looks like it's, like now that I'm looking at it from further back, I can see the slope, right? And if I, cause, because as I'm walking on this, it seems solid, right? But if I look over here, right, I'm at least three inches above the actual ground okay so i'm on i'm on um three i'm on three inches of compacted snow uh that has taken a weird slope so when i sat down behind the, the rifle and i kind of went by like my feelings right and i tried to level it off the way i felt that it should be leveled well standing on uneven ground right because the, the ground had been like freshly like newly shaped by this by the snow because like as you can see over here right you got ground so from between here and just like i don't know what is that like uh eight seven feet to the left it basically rises about three inches and that has this table at horrible slant that i can't tell just by looking at it right this table actually has like a three inch slant that that i can't tell just by looking at it and the effect is that when I start shooting, instead of my bullets impacting here, they're impacting all the way over here, right? And then when I put the bubble level off, I'm center. And again, here I shot it, and I'm straight. And then when I forgot to check the bubble level between one of my shots, I ended up all the way over here, okay? Um, so to me, this is like, you know, I've been shooting for several years here. I think I've been shooting here for at this point almost like 12 years at this location. I never started using the bubble level until this year, okay? And you know what? This thing explains all the like the the the, the zero shifts that I, I I've had over the years. Like I would say, oh well, this ammunition shoots left, or this ammunition shoots right, or this gun shoots this, or the the, the scope lost lost zero. Uh, it's it, no, it's not that. It's the cant. Having your rifle slightly canted like this. Uh, because remember, the your line of sight is two and a half like two and three quarter inches, almost three inches above your bore. So changing your line of sight, especially when you're three inches, almost three inches over the bore, uh, is going to shift you drastically left or right, okay? Uh, so so just having a, I mean, you got, I mean, if you're shooting for accuracy, I mean, at this point, I got to tell you guys, you have to have a bubble level uh, on the gun, okay? Uh, so anyway, that's, you guys can see here, I, I just thought I'd do this video. It wasn't planned, but you can see the shift. I, I went from here to here, right? Center. From here to here, right? You can see you see you can see the difference with the same ammunition. All right, guys. I hope this video was useful. Check your subscriptions. I'll talk to you all soon.